I want to share with you two stories about Rav Shail of Kerestir, one about the last day of his life and one about a man who bought earrings for his wife. And they both illustrate the unique relationship Rav Shail had with his Hasidim as well as how he relates to each and every one of us today. There was a woman who unfortunately was not blessed to have children for many years and she approached Rav Shaila for a bracha to have children. Here was Rav Shaila's shocking response. He said, Today is the last day of my life. And soon there will be many people here in Kerestir for the Levaya and they'll need to eat. Please prepare a large batch of potatoes for all the people and imagine Hashem, if you're able to give out all the potatoes, Hashem will bless you with a child. Indeed, the woman and her husband cooked up a large batch of potatoes, distributed every last piece and were blessed with a child. Imagine, on the last day of his life, Rav was worried about other Yidin. Just imagine that. By the way, what you are watching is a time-lapse video of an actual charcoal and pencil drawing of Rav by the artist. Listen on for more info on this drawing. The second story is seemingly a bit of a strange story, but it paints a powerful lesson. I heard this story from noted historian Yehuda Geber, who heard it from a grandson of the man involved and shared a beautiful insight through this story. There was a Yid from the city of Mishkolitz who was a chassid of Rabbi Shailah. And he did something pretty common for any normal middle-aged couple. He bought his wife a pair of earrings. But before giving them to his wife, he went to Rabbi Shailah and asked him to bench to give a bracha to these earrings. Rabbi Shailah took the earrings and gave his bracha that whoever wears these earrings should be zeichah to a long and healthy life. The woman who received these earrings from her husband lived a illness-free life until age 91. Her daughter, who inherited the earrings from her, managed to carry them throughout World War II, and she too lived until 91 in good health. She had no daughters, and her daughter-in-law inherited these earrings and is wearing them today. Now, although the story illustrates the power of Rav Shaila's bracha, it also shows the unique relationship Rav Shaila had with his chassidim, and shows why people flock to his cave to this day. You see, Rav Shaila was unique. He was truly like a father to his chassidim. People felt comfortable around him, so comfortable that they would ask him to bench a pair of earrings and he would actually do it. Reb Shaila cared for every single Jew, no matter where they came from or their background. It is this powerful love for every Yid that draws people to travel to his cave in Karistir every year and down for their personal requests, because they believe that Reb Shaila will intercede in Shemaim on their behalf just as he did so many years ago. And here is where this drawing you're watching comes into play. Like every year, for absolutely free, Yad Laachim has arranged for Tamidi Chachamim to be in Kerestir on the day of Reb Shaila's yard site and down for all who submit their names through Yad Laachim. You can do so online at yadl.org. That's yadl.org. Additionally, for any donation amount, you will receive a print of this exclusive drawing of Reb Shaila delivered to your door, which is known as a school. You actually have your choice. Reb Shaila cared about every Yid, every person. In fact, like Yad Laachim, he was very much involved in Pidyon Shvuyim. So don't miss this golden opportunity to submit names for tefillah for free to the caver of Shai Lekarestir through Yad Laachim. Shai cared about every single Yid, and you can submit your names for Shaduchim, children, Parnassah, and all personal requests. Visit yadl.org to submit your names and get your choice of a photo of Shai as well. In the Schuss of Shai ben Ramosha, may all your tefillahs be answered.